Uh, how long have I been involved in basketball? Like my entire life or yeah. coaching? No, like your whole life. Since I was five. So, a long time. <laughs> 33 years. What do you typically do with your hair in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Because by the uh, by second period, it's usually in a ponytail. The only reason it's not right now is because I'm giving an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I like these questions, though. This is good. That's it? You guys are gone? No. Oh. <laughs> do you have any superstitions? No. I don't. I know some coaches like wear the same thing and make sure they do the same thing for everything. I do have um, a, a quirk, I guess. I used the girls know this already. I used to get sick before almost every single game. I literally would throw up before every game because I would get so nervous. It's subsided now a little bit, but it's not as bad as it used to be. What was your record last year? Ten and fourteen. I actually just wrote that down for another thing that I had to do. We were ten and fourteen last year. Did not reflect our abilities though. Uh, what was your favorite color? <laughs> Black. And why is that? I don't know. I that was the first one that came to my head because I really don't have a favorite color. <laughs> what makes you a big coach? Oh, that's a good question. Um I think that I know the game. I think that um, because I've been coached by various people myself, I've been able to pick up drills and things like that from other people to be able to put a good type of practice together. Um, I can spot things pretty well because I've been involved in the game for 33 years. Um, and I've surrounded myself by people who also know the game. So there's a good rapport between me and my coaches and other people who I have come into practices to be able to sit there and and make sure that we're giving the girls the right information and telling them the right things to do because we have a lot of eyes on them. What's your game plan going into the season? Going into the season, um, well, we're trying to change some things up a little bit. We went away from having complete plays and making people have to go in certain spots. We want them to just, one of our biggest quotes over the last couple of years has been just play basketball. We want them to actually go out there and play the game the way they know how, be able to read defenses, read screens, and things like that. So our game plan going in is just to have the girls go out there, play good, solid defense, get some turnovers, which is going to turn into offense, and play basketball. And I know that's kind of a weird quote, but a lot of times when you watch basketball, people are too worried about where they're supposed to go, as opposed to just playing the game, and we really want them to just play the game this year. Um, from the starting seniors that were left last year, who do you think is going to take their spots this year? From the starting seniors from last year, we lost one. Um, this year, at this point, we have a couple players that we are looking into for that position. Um, one being Ms. Gina Masco, one being Ms. Riley Dolan, a sophomore. Um, Christina Urban is also another one who could fill that role. So we're looking at three to four players that can fill that role at this point. Yes, sir. Uh, you have Amy, Gina, and uh, Nicole Nardi. You have to cut one, start one, and one. Yeah. <laughs> I refrain from answering that question. <laughs> Do you carry your high school phone around? Absolutely not. I couldn't even tell you where it is. Why but it's from here. Why don't you? Uh, there would be no point. I don't need my high school diploma at this point to prove that I graduated from high school. How long have you been working at Mainland? At Mainland, this is my 11th year. How long have you been coaching? 15 years. This is my fifth year as a head coach, but 15 years. I was at Oakcrest for four years before coming here. Do Absolutely. Cedar Creek is going to be a very difficult challenge before Christmas this year. They have um, quadruplets who have played together, obviously, since they were five. And they have um, a power forward, and they work together really, really well. I actually had one of my scouts there yesterday watching them at their scrimmage, and he said that they run everything because they know each other so well that they run everything very, very well. So that's the one I'm, I'm nervous about the most before Christmas, at least. Um, I think we have a good intensity. I think we've been working pretty hard at practice, and we're trying to get that to convey over into games. One of the biggest things is we try to teach you have to practice the way you're going to play. So if they're not practicing hard, it's not going to translate into game time. So I want to make sure that they're practicing the way they're going to. One of the things that we always say at practice is right now, if you're on the green team and the other team's the white team, you're not on the same team. So you should be playing them as hard as you can to get them prepared for when we're playing teams like Ocean City and Cedar Creek. Do you have any off-season preparation? 
in the off season we do summer leagues. Um, all summer we have summer league and we do practices two nights a week. So this summer we did three nights a week of basketball. It's hard to get all the girls together because they're involved in other things. And once fall sports start, we're really not allowed. I'm not allowed to do any basketball things with the girls. So I try to give them conditioning programs, but it's it's up to them to be doing them at that point. So in the off season, we really have a summer program. But other than that, it's kind of on their own. We give them a program and hope they follow it. And we can tell when they come to tryouts if they did. Uh, you're already named like, some of your key players. Do you already have your starters decided? Um, I would say we're pretty comfortable with some of them. I can tell you that Jess Mann will be starting as our point guard. Alex Rarin will be starting. Amy McAloosa will be starting. Um, the other two positions at this point, we're going to mix some stuff up. We had our first scrimmage yesterday. Uh, tomorrow we have another scrimmage. We're going to mix some stuff up and see how it goes. So naming five starters, I mean, it could change game to game anyway. I know some coaches will have five starters that start every game. Depending on a situation, we might be starting four guards and, and one forward. Or we might be starting, you know, three bigger people because of the size of the other team and playing a zone against them. So it's going to change. But I would say that those three are going to be pretty consistent starters.